So a while back I brought up the notion about replacement parts for snap circuit sets if you have a part that's defective or if you buy a set and find that a piece is missing out of it. And I never really showed the actual new or replacement parts that you can get because actually I recently ordered three and I got them today so I figured I would show you the ones that I got that are replacements for the ones that are not working. And for the first one I will show the two and a half volt or three volt lamp I should say. So here is the original two and a half volt lamp and you can probably see on camera there quite clearly that lamp bulb is pretty dark and that's because this got put into a circuit that was accidentally putting six volts out instead of three volts. It was actually on a recent project from one of the videos that I had just put up where the B6 adapter here was actually put in like this and was putting six volts out into the circuit when it was actually supposed to be oriented like this putting three volts into the circuit instead because the circuit was calling for the six and a half, well not six and a half, the six volt L2 lamp here to be in the circuit and I had put this into the circuit because the picture on the diagram had a single battery box so I, I assumed it was three volts so I put the two and a half volt lamp in there when it actually was a six volt lamp and of course I had this set up like this and it was putting six volts into the circuit so it kind of damaged uh, the two and a half volt lamp here so here is the replacement and you can clearly see that the bulb in the new lamp is much more clear and interestingly I don't know how well the camera can see it here, but the writing on these is actually different. The old lamp here has 2.5 volt, put 0 0.3 amps on it. The new one here clearly says 3 volts, 0 0.2 amps. So, obviously they have changed some parts around here between the systems, because again, this is an older SC750 that I've got here so they have obviously I guess upgraded or changed some components around because this is really what the lamp should be a three volt lamp and not a two and a half volt lamp like this one is now the funny thing is is that this lamp actually was not working and then I recently tested it and now the lamp seems to be working again despite the fact that the bulb is in pretty poor condition so that is the first replacement part. The second part is actually the one that I just showed, which is the B6 battery adapter here. And nothing is functionally wrong with this except for the case, which as you see just pops open because the tangs that go in here that snap it closed are broken off. So it doesn't really stay together, but if you're ever curious what the inside of one of these looks like, there it is, because it's a little circuit board with a couple resistors, the thermistor there, and a couple of little three-pin voltage regulating devices. So you can get replacements of these, but not the AC adapter that plugs into it, because it's just a general 9-volt, 500 milliamp output adapter with a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter positive middle input barrel jack if you ever need to replace one of those so and of course the replacement for that is this one here and you can probably tell it looks ever so slightly different because the jack is now on this side as opposed to on the right side here and of course the text is kind of moved around a little bit as well and I know it certainly works I can plug the adapter into it lights it nice and brightly, the connector fits in there nice and tight and like I say I have the old lamp here and so 3 volts is on this side and again funnily enough even though this lamp is in pretty bad shape it actually still works the new 3 volt lamp certainly works as well even gives me a little thing about the printout from the manufacturer and even when the date code is, and interestingly, this is, what is that, October 2018. So, this is, I guess you would call it new old stock. So, that is the second replacement part. Again, this battery adapter I can pretty much fix by just re-gluing this. 
and for this two and a half volt lamp if I really wanted to fix it I could just open this up and maybe solder in a new little two and a half volt or three volt little light bulb in there or maybe even make it an LED I don't know what I can do with it yet so that covers the three volt lamp and the B6 battery adapter and so the last new part is one that I showed before that needed replacing and that was the alarm IC because I have the original alarm I see here and well they pretty much look identical there's no thing really different about it but functionally the new one I got here works as it should because I've shown in previous projects this one here does not work correctly and so we can demo that so here is the old alarm I see let's bring out our new B6 adapter Get a negative there to connect to our alarm IC. Get our speaker. Take a two snap. Put it there. And then let's see. We need three volts for the speaker because it goes from ground to positive on the speaker. And then we need positive input voltage for our alarm IC. So we'll plug it in here. And again, remember, this is the faulty alarm I see, and the problem we have is on the contact here at the very left point. It doesn't operate correctly. So I'll put it here. We get our little machine gun laser sound effect. The middle portion gives us our siren. And then the first one here, that's the faulty part of this alarm I see. As you tell, it does not output the audio correctly. So that is again a bad alarm I see because that first point there, it's damaged, doesn't work correctly. Who knows what's going on with that one. So let's put in the new alarm I see and compare. So put that one aside. Take the new one here. Set it all up there. Plug in the power and now let's try this one out. So we get our kind of laser machine gun sound and it actually sounds louder coming out of this alarm I see than the other one. Our middle one here. See that gives us a siren which you notice is actually different from the other alarm I see and then our first point. gives us our police siren so all three contacts on this alarm C work the way that they're supposed to with three different sounds versus the old one here that only has these two working and this one not so and just a little short little video I wanted to put together showing the comparison of the new spare parts you can get from Elenco there for your snap circuit sets comparing them the new to the old so